Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to talk about homework for Bio 260. I'm going to go through a few steps that uh, you should you should be doing for your homework and uh, the reason I want to do this is because it's going to be a little bit different than submitting on Canvas or maybe some of you haven't done GitHub before so I thought it'd be really great to see an example. So to do that I'm going to first clone uh, the homework repository and this is only you only need to do this once per homework and uh, but I wanted to show it because um, because I wanted to, I wanted, I thought it'd be good to see it. And uh, then I'm gonna make some changes locally, and I'm do the add commit, and then push cycle to uh, push uh, changes onto up onto um, the get onto your GitHub repo. And then I'm gonna see if the changes actually happened on GitHub. And the reason is because um, we want to make sure that we're seeing the latest version of homework that you're working on. And this is great for office hours as help as well as for grading, obviously. So I'm going to put these links down below the video, but uh, the first thing I want to do is go to this web page, which I've got opened up here. So uh, this is the uh, Data Science uh, Labs Students Organization. And uh, each of you will see, for now, just one repository here for Homework 2. And uh, you, below this, you'll see homework three, homework four, uh, all the way until um, until the end of the semester. We're going to add, keep adding new homeworks, and so that you can keep track of your homework uh, and see your old homeworks. And anyway, um, so for homework two, the as soon as it comes out, I'm going to go into here this repository. I'm going to clone this. Uh, remember the SSH. Uh, remember that um, if you set up your SSH keys, you can switch this from HTTP to SSH, and it won't ask you for your password. So uh, th that's a that's a really good thing uh, to do. So if you haven't set that up, go ahead and go back to the setting up Git um, uh, lab, and under uh, step three, uh, where is it? Here, here it is. So uh, uh, setting up your SSH keys. Um, go ahead and do that and uh, then come back to this video. Um, if not, it, it's totally fine to just use HTTPS, but you're going to be asked to use your username and password every single time you push, which you want to do frequently, so you don't want to have to do that all the time. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my terminal. I'm in my Bio260 folder. Uh, here you can see I have other things, um, like the test repo we made during a class, and uh, the 2016, which contains all the lecture stuff. And um, I'm going to clone that repository down. You can see that there are 14 objects, um, as well as um, uh, well, it's very small, so it took it was very quick. So uh, now I'm going to change into. Oh, let me just show you that now. If I say ls again, which is listings, uh, I can see that there's a new repository here. There's a new um, um, directory here. It's it's called the same thing that uh, this was called over here. And uh, so I'm going to change into it. And now you can see that there's uh, homework problems, there's homework problems HTML, and there's a readme here. So this mirrors exactly what was going on up here in the GitHub repo. And if I say git status, here it says, don't worry, everything's fine, your branch is up to date. So, And there's nothing to commit. So that's uh, git status is great. Uh, I would use it often and um, just so that you know where you're at and you know what needs to be done. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and open up one of my one uh, the homework file just to work on it a bit. Um, what I like I like to do is just to go into the finder um, and just go into the directory where it's located and just open it up like this. And um, so this works in both Windows and Mac. It's the reason I like doing it. Okay, so um, I'm going to make a few changes. So the date is still the same, um, and I want to. Um, add maybe uh, I don't know let me just delete let me just delete these things um, I don't like that they're there anymore um, so you'll see that this is empty in my in my example but it will be full of stuff for yours so you'll have plenty to edit um, this is just an example so I deleted some stuff because I didn't want it to be there anymore um, and instead I'm gonna just change the homework assignment two to be this will be awesome. So I'm gonna make those changes. I've saved it so I, I um, let me just hit save here again. So now I've saved it. Uh, if I go back to to my terminal I say git status 
you'll see that it doesn't say that nothing to that there's nothing to commit anymore. It actually says there are changes that happened, and uh, I need you to fix them. So um, I need you to uh, add them. So if I now that I've made some changes, and that's the end of the day, I'm gonna just go ahead and get add, and I'm gonna add um, I'm gonna add the the individual files that I changed. And the reason I want to do this is because um, you'll see that files get created that you don't really care about, like the R history uh, and stuff like that. We'll try to put that in the git ignore, but um, just in case not, then I just want to add files one at a time because I don't want to have to deal with the uh, the extra weight of carrying around all this this junk that is not necessary. And so now if I say git status again, you'll see that it's now green. And it says your brand uh, that changes uh, that there are changes to be committed. So I'm going to go ahead and commit them. Um, so the way that you do that is to say git commit minus m. So the message flag is minus m. And uh, I'm going to just say I deleted a bunch of junk. No, no, let's be nice. A bunch of stuff that was unnecessary for this assignment. So you want to make the commit messages as um, as detailed as possible for yourself, just so that when you go back, you can see you know what changes did I make here. You might you know need to change back in case you made a really big mistake. Uh, this happens more often when you're working in groups, so you want to be as detailed as possible um, and just get used to being detailed. And now that I've made changes, if I say git status, it says that there's nothing to commit. So I've I've uh, committed all the changes that I made, uh, but it does say that your branch is, is ahead of origin master by one commit. And what that means is that if I go back to GitHub um, and I and I look at the commits here, so there's a few commits. Um, if I say git log, all it all that means is that there's one more commit here than there is over here. So over here I have four commits, here I have five commits. That's all it's saying. And and so now that that uh, now I'm pretty much ready to push. So all I have to say is git push. Um, and and uh, now if I go back to no if not well let me just say git status now. So git status says now I'm I'm up to date. So I'm no longer ahead of the of the master of the um, uh, of whatever was going on up here. Um, so now I know that I'm in sync with with what's going on up here. So if I go back up here and refresh, I can see this latest commit. It says exactly the detailed message that I gave it. And if I want to check that my homework actually shows up this way, um, GitHub has this really nice format so that it shows the the get the commit message that is associated to each file. So here's the initial commit. This is a long time ago, two days ago. This is two days ago. This one is the latest one, which is just two minutes ago. So if I go here, um, you can see the changes that I made. It's here. Um, so this is how you can check if the homework uh, is, is up to date on GitHub, which is the version that we will see when we grade. So this is really important that you check this. And um, that, that's pretty much it. That's what I wanted to talk about. And hopefully this helps. And um, uh, good luck with your homework.